Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video we're going to take our orthographic projection and we're going to dimension it. There's a few things that I want to cover before we start dimensioning on this paper. Uh, the first is some of the important rules of dimensioning. Number one, we want to keep all of our dimensions outside of the object. So I don't want to have any dimensions written in here, in here, or in here. And I don't want to have any extra lines in there unless they're leader lines, which are used for circles. We don't have any circles in this shape, so we're not going to need to use those. Uh, the second rule is that we don't want a double dimension. So if I dimension the height of the shape over here in the front view, I don't need to dimension the height of the shape over here in the side view. That's double dimensioning because the two dimensions represent the same property of the shape and it just clutters up our dimensioned drawing. And the third, probably most important uh, rule is that your dimensions should be connected to the best view for that dimension. Okay, so let's say we're gonna dimension this step down right here. It's probably easiest to see it dimensioned right here than over here, okay? So that will make sense as we go a little further into dimensioning. So we're going to start our dimensions with the front view. That's where we always want to start, and we want to fit as many dimensions as we can and that are appropriate in the front view because the front view gives us the best look at our shape. So we're going to start by dimensioning the width. Remember, we have uh, three different parts of our shape, the width, the height and the depth. And we're going to start with the width. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at our scale up here. One square is equal to one fourth inch. We're no longer going to be talking just in squares. We need to start converting those squares to inches. So if one square is equal to one fourth inch, every four squares would be equal to one inch. So if we have 24 squares, for our width, that's going to translate into 6 inches. So let's go ahead and get started dimensioning. Remember that we have three types of dimension lines. We have our dimension lines, which show us uh, the arrows uh, with the numbers connected to them, and our extension lines and leader lines. We're only going to use two types in this example because we don't have any circles. We won't need the leader line. So let's get started dimensioning the width here, our six inches. Uh, you might decide that you want to dimension it here at the bottom, which you can, but I like to start large and then fit the smaller dimensions in underneath. And so because of the way this shape uh, is shaped, I'm going to start up at the top. So what I'm going to do here is make an extension line, which is not going to connect to my shape. I don't want it to be part of my shape, so I'm going to leave a little gap. I'm just going to draw a line that goes up. Okay, so that's one side. Now we're going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Just draw another little extension line. Okay, now from this point to this point, we know is six inches. So we're going to go ahead and put in six inches into to tell me how far the six inches is, I need to put in the dimension lines. So we're going to draw a line there put our arrow on, and then same thing on the other side. Draw our line, and put our arrow. Good. So now we know that the total width of the shape from here to here is a total of six inches. Now I can continue to use this line to dimension this section from this step over 
and from this step over, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, of course, we need another extension line right here. And we know that that is going to be 4 inches. Of course, you'll have to count the boxes to figure that out, but I've already done that. And our arrow. Good. So six inches, four inches. Now my last measurement here for this portion is going to be from this step over. And if you see, we've got one, two, three, four boxes. So that's one inch. One, two, three, four boxes. So that would be a total of two inches. So draw our extension line. two inches and put in our dimension lines. Just like all of the lines in your orthographic projection, all of your dimension lines should be drawn with a ruler and very straight and precise. Good. So now I have the basic parts of the width of my shape. There are still a few other parts of this shape that I can dimension in the front view. One of which is going to be the height of each of these steps. All right, And since I'm doing this section right now, I'll go ahead and do those as well. So we're going to put just a little extension line right here. I don't need an extension line right here since I'm going up against the shape. And we have two boxes. So that's going to be, you guessed it, one half of an inch. So we're going to put one half inch. And then we need to put in our eensy beensy, teensy weensy extension lines. So there's one half inch. If we come over here, we have the same measurement, so we're going to do the same thing. Put in our extension line, one half inch. Good. Okay. The reason I'm putting this dimension for the steps in the front view rather than in the side view is it's a little easier to tell that they're steps and that that's the height of each of the steps when you're looking at it from the front view. Okay. Now, uh, there is there are two more uh, dimension lines that I can put in my front view, and that is going to be height, and it's going to be the height of this left side of the shape and then the height of the right side of the shape. So we'll go ahead and start with the left side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. So that's going to equate to two inches in height. So make sure we make our ex extension lines and they don't connect to our shape. Put in two inches. And then if we come over to the right side of the shape, we see one, two, three, four boxes, which is going to tell me that that is one inch. Good. So now we have dimensioned 
our front view. And we've gotten most of our dimensions for this shape in the front view, which is great. Notice how nothing in this view has been double dimensioned. None of the dimensions are inside of the shape. The shape is still very open and it's very easy to tell what parts uh, or what lines are part of the shape. None of our extension lines are touching our shape. Okay. Uh, there is one dimension in this front view that you could put in the side view and that would be your overall height here on the left hand side which if you wanted to you could dimension in the side view which would be fine okay but since I've got it here and I've got my two steps and this one inch I don't need to dimension anything in the side view if I did dimension anything in the side view I would really be double dimensioning okay the last property of the shape that I need to dimension is the depth. I have my width here and I have my height here and I really just need my depth. How deep is the shape? Okay. You could dimension that in the side view here but it's probably more appropriate to dimension it in the top view as if you were flying over it would show you the total depth of the shape. So if we come up here to our top view we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's a total of eight boxes, which is going to be two inches. So go ahead and make your extension lines and your dimension lines. Perfect. And now we're done. We have dimensioned the width, the height, the depth, and all of the steps in the shape. Uh, notice again, we don't have any dimensions in the side view. You could have this overall height in the side view if you wished. Um, but since we've dimensioned it over here in the front view, there's no need. If we put it over here now, it would be double dimensioning, which we don't want to do. So in class, you're going to work through various examples of taking an isometric uh, shape and converting it into an orthographic projection and then dimensioning that orthographic projection. If you have questions, see me or reference this video as a resource. Best of luck.